got it. Well, thanks to that front end loader, they had a nice big heavy anchor against which to pull this timber. And now, this timber is perfectly plumb. My man's putting in the final piece of the foundation. Next step, bring in the house. <laughs> Rose's friends and family all come by to see the house. Marie. Hi, I'm Danny. Danny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Before long, you got a block party. I'm so excited I got goosebumps. <laughs> What's that right there? A house. A house? Whose house? My grandma's. Is that your grandma's house? Uh-huh. What do you think? It's nice. It's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. This whole thing. OK, what, what? I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the crane is hooked up. It's now time for Rose's house to take flight. Oh, is it going? Is it going? We're going up. We're going up. This is it. It's going up. That's 12 tons of house up there. Is that amazing or what? Setting it perfectly means keeping it steady. For that, you need. You got your very own cowboy wrangling in your own house. You guys are the wranglers. You are the house wranglers. <laughs> Is it down? It's down. It's down! That's only half the house. One down, one to go. Yeah, one to go. The crew positions the second half into place, fusing the two halves together. It's coming down. Right now, I'm inside one half of Rose's house that's set, and the second half is right here, attached to a crane. And as we speak, they're bringing it down. We've got to bring this down about eight more inches, line it up, and then this part of the house gets tied to this part of the house, and we are done. But to make her house hurricane-proof, we need to install the last critical structural element, foundation straps. Several large steel straps that fuse the house and the foundation together into one solid unit, giving Rose's house the edge over a typically built home. Fusing the entire house to the foundation posts means Rose's house can now stand up to 160 mile per hour winds and not even flinch. And when a storm surge rushes in, her house will stay high and dry for another 40 years. The result is a strong and sturdy house that Rose can finally call home. <laughs> Sleep in it tonight. <laughs> in a sleeping bag on the hardwood floor. <laughs> Rose, I promise in the future we'll get you nicer steps. I hope so. <laughs> oh! My living room! <laughs> it's my first bed. This is a big room, huh? And my kitchen. So I can cook in here, huh? In my room. This is your bedroom, Rose. In my room. Oh, I love it. I just absolutely love it. Two weeks of labor in a factory, one week of work here to get the foundation done, but thanks to everyone at home again, all the contractors, everyone got this house built, Safeway, everyone did an amazing job. The house is up. You are home. Uh -huh. Did you think you'd be having it up here? Mm -hmm. Did you think we Not would? Not in a week, I didn't. I didn't think it. If you want to see before and after pictures of this house, it's all on our website discovery.com slash build it bigger. Congratulations. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. If anyone deserves a new home, it's Rose. She lost everything. Lost her house, every belonging she had, all of it. And she's been in the trailer, 300 square foot trailer, for 17 months. And finally, she's got a home. <laughs> you like the house? I love it, I love it. I love my new house. Duck's team in the factory and Jeff's team on the ground worked unbelievably hard to turn this into this. Helping Rose and the residents of Past Christiane put their lives back together, one house at a time.